overflows ego the condensed unawareness ego is the short word for many things egocentric identities ego refers to the identities which you consider are your real identities the ego is nothing but condensed unawareness when you become aware by and by condensed unawareness that we call ego or egocentric identities begins to disappear just as if you bring a lamp into a room and the darkness disappears awareness is that lamp lit within be a lamp onto yourself when you listen with perfect awareness then listening becomes possible this is why nanak in japji sahib explains this through several pauri suniye that is the word he uses suniye and that alone is the real listening the body sleeps the heart sleeps the mind too sleeps but there is something that remains awake within 24 hours that which remains awake within is you the alertness a o awareness everything else is false identification that i am hindu muslim christian or any other identities awareness is your nature and your real identification the body is your abode mind is your computer awareness is you your very being the software mind is the hardware of the computer awareness is the fragrance of meditation walk but make walking a meditation walking becomes meditation when you are aware of walking breathe but let your breathing become a constant meditation breathe knowingly totally aware as the breath is going in watch and be aware of it when the breeze touches the nostrils be aware that is what shiva tells devi in vigyan bhairav tantra do this and you will know as the breath is going in watch and be aware of it so to when the breath is going out again watch and be aware of it this is what shiva told his concert devi in response to her questions in vigyan bhairav tantra a 5000 years old treatise on meditation so to eat but eat with full awareness take a bite chew it but go on watching let the watcher be there in every moment whatsoever you are doing doing is not important watching is important doing with watchfulness is important sinners live in a sort of hell in the absence of this awareness saints imagine themselves in a sort of heaven because of constant awareness and for the sage awareness brings liberation or moksha and for the sage awareness 
is the ultimate freedom, the absolute freedom. He is freed from all duality. The awareness is the secret and the only key. For awareness, you need not renounce the world. You need not go to the Himalayan mountains or monasteries or anywhere else in caves or anywhere else. Your life gives you enough opportunities moment to moment to be aware. Each moment circumstances and situations come when you can be aware or unaware. The choice is always yours. And when you are aware, you are falling within the domain of cosmic law, the existential law. Everything happens in a certain way. This existential law Nanak calls as Hukum. Hukme andar sabko. Everyone is within the domain of this cosmic law. Hukme andar sabko. Hukum na kahiya jai. Nothing can be said about the cosmic law. Somebody insults you, listen to it with full awareness. It is said about George Ivanovich Gurdjieff. He was of an Armenian ancestry. They, he belonged to a nomadic society. His father was not poor. When his grandfather father was passing away, he told George that I do not have anything to give it to you except a piece of advice. When anger is coming to you, postpone it for 24 hours. So it, Gurdjieff started practicing from the same time he was seven years of age. When someone will say something that against him, he say that right now I cannot answer it and after 24 hours I'll come back and answer you. Like someone said, says you are very impatient. So 24 hours gave him the opportunity to introspect if I am really impatient or not. If I am impatient, then the person is right. You must thank him or you have to start working that you do not be impatient in doing things. If someone says which does not apply to him, there was no need to argue with him either. That what you said to me is not right. Every day this kind of dialogue happens between spouses. They continue to blame one another and nobody is ready to introspect for a moment. And you will be surprised that insult is no more an insult. You may even smile. It hurts only when it is received in a state of unawareness. Somebody praises and appreciates you again, listen with alertness. And when nobody can persuade, and then nobody can persuade you to do foolish things. Nobody can bribe you and flattery to becomes impossible because you can do self-introspection. You will smile at the whole response, whole nonsense of it all. Listen, watch and be aware. And by and by, a different quality of being arises in you, which is neither of the body, nor of the feeling, nor of the thoughts. A different pillar of flame it starts gathering within you and becomes more and more crystallized and radiant. 
as this awareness becomes crystallized for the first time you will feel more and more that you are this is the feeling of being and then moods will become more and more irrelevant right now you live with moods they will come and go but you will remain unperturbed the climate will change around you someone may die you may have financial loss but you will remain unchanged these are like the leaves falling during the autumn season and this is the period of hibernation for the tree to prepare for the upcoming winter season and the fallen leaves they decompose and once again provide the nourishment to the tree you may have financial loss but you will remain unchanged as if nothing has happened whatsoever happens on the outside will not in any way change your within innerness your state of happiness happiness is not caused by any circumstance and situation it is your very nature the within remains absolutely pure uncorrupted and uncontaminated you are watcher on the hill this is your true nature this is awareness this is you that is what the upanishad say aham brahmasmi i am ever expanding consciousness when this consciousness crystallizes in you becomes your software then you are aware enough for now